Hello, my name is Nico and I'm the head of product for Bitfury. I want to show you a demonstration of our brand new BF8162C16 16nm Bitcoin mining chip. In this demonstration, we'll be concentrating on the low power operation of our chip. So here we have our test setup, a laptop uh, connected uh, via Ethernet to our test board uh, which has a Terasic DE0 Nano SoC, the blue board right here. Then we have a controller chip that is controlling the uh, current going to the power circuitry that is feeding the chip. And here we have the level shifters. Um, voltage controllers, amp and voltage metering chips, etc. And this is the 16 nanometer Bitfury ASIC. So let's get started. Just gonna turn that light off. And here we can see our software uh, for monitoring the chip. So the moment I press return, you can see on the left side the millivolt rating uh, goes up and the amps start going up tremendously as also the watt rating. And on the screen you can see uh, the chip completing uh, the jobs that we just given to it. So here you can see the regulator chip is powered up and the test should complete any moment now. Yep, it's done. So here we can see the overall gigahash per second is 37.63, while the consumption is 61.7 milliwatts per gigahash, so 0 0.06. Voltage 380, current 6 amps, power 2.3 watts, and job time about 113 milliseconds. Right. So let's uh, run another test. We did the first test with a cold chip, so now that the chip has been working for a while it should be a little bit heated up and we should see a little bit different numbers. Um, more gigahashes per second and perhaps a little bit lower efficiency. Let's see how that goes. Okay, and now the test is complete. So let's see, uh, we got a little bit higher giga hash as expected 39.62 and um, 62.1 milliwatts per giga hash. So the efficiency went a little bit down on the same settings with, um, with a uh, warmed up chip and also we got a little bit more hashing power out of it. Now let's try to increase that voltage just a little bit up, so 390 millivolts now, and see how that turns out. And as you can see, we're pulling almost eight amps now. And chip is at three watts, 3.12. And the test is complete, and we getting 47.1, uh, 47.01 giga hash uh, with efficiency of 60.67 uh, milliwatts um, per giga hash, so 0 0.066 uh, watts uh, joules per giga hash. And now let's uh, final test on uh, 400 millivolts. We're already at 9 amps current draw and the chip is about 3.6 watts so this is definitely going to look better yep yeah, we're getting over 51 
gigahash per second and 69.7 milliwatts per gigahash for this so that's it thanks and stay tuned for uh, new videos from us soon